Heather Dean has always wanted to be a veterinarian. At 28, she was pursuing her dream when she began to feel achy pain, a pain she simply ignored. At first, just joint pain, but then it progressed to nausea and um, eventually coughing up blood. Heather became sick, very sick. She was taken to a local hospital where doctors said her lungs were shutting down. She was transported to MedStar Washington Hospital Center, one of the few hospitals in the region equipped with a medical device called ECMO. It's basically uh, a pump that can support the function of the lungs or the lungs and the heart. ECMO, or extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, provides that support to patients whose heart and lungs cannot normally function on their own. The machine circulates blood from the person's body and artificially removes the carbon dioxide, which oxygenates the red blood cells and keeps the patient alive while healing. But in itself, it's not a cure. So it's a sort of a support that allows us to replace the function of the heart and the function of the lung uh, for the time being. And in the meantime, hope that those two uh, systems are gonna heal. In Heather's case, she was dying. Her lungs were filled with blood and then her heart stopped. ECMO was her lifeline. We knew that we had to put her on ECMO as soon as possible before she had any significant damage to her brain. Some patients remain in the intensive care unit on ECMO for a couple of weeks. Heather's body began to respond and she was taken off ECMO therapy after eight days. Diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease, Heather's recovering and is on chemotherapy and other medications to fight her condition. She knows this life-saving technology saved her life. I've been told several times that if this had happened to me anywhere else, I would not have made it.